Today's the day we are decorating and transforming our home for the Christmas season and the excitement level is high. I am truly so excited for this and to spend the day with you decorating and I'm extra sentimental this year because we moved into our home last December in the middle of the month so we were able to celebrate in our home last year but we were kind of unsettled we had boxes everywhere just kind of getting adjusted to the new place but this year we're nice and settled in so we can really go all out and it's just an exciting thing so lots to look forward to and now we have our sweet puppy to celebrate and there really just is so much joy in my heart and for that i am so thankful and with that said i know this time of year can come with so many different emotions and bittersweet feelings just with different family dynamics and expectations that come with the season so i really hope and pray you'll feel an overwhelming sense of peace and joy this season and we can just focus on those creature comforts that the christmas time brings and celebrate with one another so it's going to be a beautiful day i think we should kick things off with a cozy little peppermint mocha to fuel us for our decorating endeavors so let's get to it let's get decorating accumulated quite a bit of stuff just throughout the years but since we do live in a house now opposed to an apartment I did purchase you know some investment pieces like my garland but I'm really excited my color palette is I don't know exactly how to describe it basically I love the green I love the cozy white and just textures but I also love some red and I guess the best way to describe it would be these ornaments I love little pops of pink and gold and even blue and this banner is another big inspiration for just like my general inspo for my Christmas decor and palette I like how it is it has some traditional aspects but it also is a little more eclectic and whimsical so that's kind of what we're going for and I purchased quite a bit of ribbon this year because I feel like that is just so romantic and sweet looking so I ordered some of this silk ribbon which I totally thought would be bigger <laughs> it's like teeny tiny but hey it's still really beautiful and then I also picked up some ribbon from Joanne Fabrics that is really nice so we have lots of goodies to play with and I think I'm gonna start with the coffee bar just to kind of keep with the coffee theme and the first order of business for our coffee bar section is to take my mugs down so I keep my Christmas mugs in the cupboard just at the very tippity top so I'm going to move all the Christmas mugs to the lower shelf I already moved <laughs> this one but I'm gonna just switch them and then I'll put all my kind of generic mugs at the top. So we'll just have a selection of Christmas mugs ready to go each morning. Okay, here are the beautiful Christmas mugs ready to go on the bottom shelf. We have quite the collection. I'll just do a quick little overview real quick. This is from Anthropology. This one is really special because it is from Colmar, France when we went on a trip. It was fun because we didn't even go during Christmas time, but they go all out for Christmas, so they always have some Christmassy souvenirs for sale, and this is just so precious. These two were a gift a few years ago. They came in a set. And then we have this gingerbread one, which I thrifted last year, I believe. It's super, super cute. It looks like you could get it from Anthropology as well. And then we have a snow day one. I believe that's what it says. This was a gift from my husband while we were dating. So cute. And then this one is also from Anthropology as well. Has a cute little Christmas tree inside. And then these two are from the Chicago Christmas market when I visited Chicago two different years. So 
We love this collection and it'll just be great to start our day with one of these mugs. Oh, and I have this one in the back that says Mary. My friend Lexi got this for me last year and it's from Target. So here's what we have for our little coffee station. I like to keep it fairly simple. I thought about doing like a hot cocoa bar as well and maybe I'll add that on later in the season, but for now we're just gonna add some little components. First off are these spoons. So you saw the gingerbread one in my coffee I'm sipping on now, but I wanna style the rest of them in this little jar, I believe. We'll see how they fit in it. Um, but I can just put it on this tray with our coffee syrups. And then I like to keep this tablespoon out as well because it's really handy for scooping up coffee grounds. And then maybe we'll use this bottle brush tree if we have room. I also pulled some of this silk ribbon because I thought it might look cute to tie a little bow on this mason jar when I have the spoons in it and the green complements the green and the lollipops. So we'll see how that works together. And then I also have these holiday sprinkles. So maybe I'll layer these as well, but we don't have a whole lot of room on this tray. So we'll play around with it, see how it all fits. But I think we have some cute components to work with. super sweet the tray is the real star but I also put my gingerbread mug under my espresso machine because it kind of goes with the other little gingerbread men over here I went back and forth on adding the bottle brush tree I was gonna switch it out like with one of the syrups but I like the three syrups together and it's practical and I just added my sprinkles right here which adds some good Christmassy colors and then the pretty bow around the jar with our spoons which I am just so pleased with these spoons they're so adorable Okay, next up, let's go ahead and put up our faux trees. I feel like that's just an obvious one that will really just make the space pop and it'll start really looking like Christmas around here. So we'll do that and we're definitely gonna get a real tree this year, but they're not available yet. So we'll start with these and we have one flocked tree. That was our very first tree in our apartment and I think I'm gonna put that in my office, which is right when you walk into our home. So it's a nice warm welcome and then i also purchased some of these thinner alpine trees from target this year haven't even opened them yet so we'll kind of have our first impression together but i'm thinking of kind of layering those in our living room we'll see we're gonna need to play around with it always gotta check the lights and make sure they work before you wrap them around the tree if i recall i think half of these lights work but not all of them oh um oh yeah it looks really good it looks nice and bright but there are quite a few that are burnt out, but that's okay. I'm still gonna use it. I think the problem is though that <laughs> like the top is burnt out or the bottom, so it's kind of obvious, but I think I'm just gonna mix it all together so that you can't really tell. pre-lit so we don't have to deal with wrapping around the lights.
for these little alpine trees. I think they are so precious. I still have to figure out the plug situation because our extension cord in the media console is already booked up. There's not a place to plug them in. So I need to find another extension cord and then kind of move things around, I guess. But they're so beautiful. Can't wait to get them all lit up. I did test them out. So thankfully they all work. And I may end up switching the tall one to this side once we get our real tree, but we'll just play around with it when we get it when that time comes. And then I also put this blanket at the base of it and I think it looks really cute, but I don't have like an exact one for this side. So still playing around with that as well, but I love how the base of the tree is like this nice bark looking material. So super pleased with these. Okay, we still have a ways to go, but things are coming along. We got the light situation figured out. I added some pillows and blankets. The light situation isn't ideal because there are some cords exposed, but not a huge deal. We may kind of tweak that if we can figure out a better solution, but I'm just happy they all work and they're shining bright. So now I think I'm going to focus on the staircase and add some garland to that and then also our stockings. I debated if I want to do the stockings on the staircase or if I want to do them on the media console, but it makes a lot more sense on the staircase because we actually use this for storage and open up the cabinets quite a bit. So that's the plan. Going to work on that section now. To hang the garland on the staircase railing, I think I'm going to try to use this fishing line. Hopefully it'll be strong enough and I'll probably do two strands of garland and kind of drape them. So that's the vision. We'll see how it works out. but we're getting close. I wish I looked up some kind of tutorial before I started. I was kind of just winging it and I wish I had some tips on how to hang a garland effortlessly, but I certainly do not. I basically just put a lot of fishing wire wherever it needed support. So I just have it like every so often on the railing, but thankfully since it's so thin and clear, you barely notice it unless I'm nice and zoomed in. So hopefully that'll hold up okay. And now I'm gonna add some color. We're still gonna add ornaments and color to the trees as well, but I'm gonna just start with the garland and add some of the silk ribbon. I'm debating if I wanna do all the same color silk ribbon or if I should do different colors. I think I'm gonna do different colors, but as always, we'll play around with it and see how it turns out. I think I'm gonna use this color combination. Really beautiful and I'll put a different bow on each stocking. so pleased with how this silk ribbon turned out on the stockings it just adds so much life to the garland area and i'm excited to use it in some other places this was the most obvious way to use the ribbon so i guess i'll put some around the tree as well but i definitely want to find other places where we can sprinkle this because it is just so gorgeous okay so i've shared how i adore this banner and it's sort of my inspiration for my color palette the thing is I don't know where to put it. So there's a couple places I have in mind. I think I wanna try to put it where this big banner is, right by my TV. I doubt, I, I doubt I'll like it there, but I could possibly put it just right here in this little empty space. Or I could even put it above Palmer's room up there. Or another place is over my floating shelves. So take that banner down and then switch it up with this one. So. 
Let's see, we'll definitely find a spot for it because it's just so cute and happy. Okay, how funny looking is that? That's gonna be a no. I could move the tack or the push pen and just put it lower, but it's just a little too small to kind of even out the other frames we have on the other side. I also picked up these woven ornaments the other day and to me they look just like jingle bells. So I'm gonna try to hang them and layer them a little bit on the end of my stairway because I think that looks pretty, especially with the silk ribbon because the colors just really blend so beautifully. How sweet is that? It's so simple, but it's one of my favorite decorations so far, especially just with the color palette of the ribbon. I just think it looks so beautiful. So this tree topper is meant for our real tree once we get it, but since we don't have it yet, I'm just going to go ahead and put it on the big tree we have. Okay, we have been moving and grooving. It's looking really sweet in here. And I'm getting close to finishing up the living room and then we'll move to the kitchen and then the entryway. And then I have a little tree for Palmer, so we got to do that. And then I think we'll be done. Who knows, it, it's a process. It's a decorating journey, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and put on the ornaments right now because that's a pretty obvious one and we can get that checked off. And then we'll move on to adding some floral. It's not floral, well, tree picks and pine straw, not pine straw, I can't find the word for it, but the little picks to our bases to add some greenery throughout the house. So I wanna add some in here and in the kitchen and in the entryway. So we'll work on that as well. decor this is gonna be very tempting for him there's a lot of things he's gonna want to play with especially when I put his tree in his room oh yeah you like that tassel blanket don't you since I'm already talking about it let's go ahead and do Palmer's tree so we have this cutest little dog tree skirt and then I got this tree from Joann's both of these things are from Target by the way and then these ornaments are just too stinking cute I couldn't resist Look how cute his tree is. Oh my goodness, this ornaments just crack me up with the little dog faces. We have a bone with a bow on it. So stinking cute. There really isn't one that looks like Palmer, but it's okay. He has all his little dog friends to look at. We'll put it right in his room in the corner. So cute. I used the twinkle lights. I actually bought some twinkle lights. Oh, I'm dropping ornaments already. I was saying I actually bought some twinkle lights for this little tree, but I used them for the garland on the staircase. So I'm gonna grab some more next time I go to the store, but look how cute in his little room. How sweet is that? These are some of our favorite classics to watch every year, the classic claymations. And I feel like this packaging is really pretty, so I'm gonna try to incorporate it on our media console somewhere. Okay, let's work on our little arrangements now. So basically this is what I'm working with, all of these pretty faux pine and just different kind of wintry looking faux plant pieces. And I'm gonna try to just arrange them in these little vases. I might not use all of the vases, but it's nice to kind of have options. I'd love to put one in the middle of our island, one in the entryway, and then one on the coffee table. Those are my priorities, but we'll see what we can do. These are the arrangements I put together. This one's gonna go on the coffee table 
I kept the baby's breath because that's a cute little filler and it looks snowy. And then the jingle bells and the pine. And then this one I'm gonna keep on our kitchen island. And I added some jingle bells, some of this really big pine one. And then I kept some pompous grass because I don't know, it just kind of fit and it's a nice little way to fill it up. And then with this wooden one, I have some of this red little berry-like branch and I also kept some pompous. So hopefully that'll look good and we'll kind of play with that some more once we style the entryway. I have this book, a poem for every winter day that I'm just gonna leave on the coffee table and kind of layer it with my other book on here. And then whenever someone wants to read a winter poem, it's easy access. Okay, here's how the entryway turned out. I think it's so dreamy. I love this art print. I found it on Etsy and then I just printed it out at Walgreens. And then I like the florals, the candles, twinkle lights. It's all just giving me that cozy ambiance. Okay, just like that, it's already 5.30 p.m. The day has gone by so quickly, and since the sun sets earlier, it's getting nice and cozy and dark. The lights are just standing out now that the sun is going down. But we're definitely gonna need to do a day two because I still have the kitchen to do, the floating shelves. We still have a bit of decor to find a home for. A couple more things I'm gonna do today is I wanna switch out the art for our frame TV. I have this pretty wintry one that we'll add to the screen. And then I also wanna hang the wreath in the kitchen. That was a big thing for autumn time. I tried it for the first time, hanging a wreath on the stove top hood, and I really liked it. So we're gonna do it for Christmas time as well. Super, super cute and I tied a little silk ribbon bow in the middle okay so this is the art that I purchased from Etsy for our TV so last time I tried to change it I had some technical difficulties so hopefully we won't have any trouble this time okay we're having technical difficulties again but it's okay we'll get it to work later but I'm going to call it a night and I will see you guys for part two of decorating I'm really excited about the progress it's looking very festive very cozy we're gonna take some time to rest tonight and finish the rest soon. See you in a bit. Okay, hello from day two of decorating. I'm really excited. Palmer's excited too. He's just staring up at me. Hey little guy. Brandon's excited. So what do you think of the decor so far? Do you like what we're going with? Yes, I do. It's not too much. I asked him about the colored uh, ornaments because part of me was kind of second guessing that. The different colored ornaments because we have the blue, we have the pink. I was a little unsure, but I think I love it. I think I love it. And now we have the kitchen, the dining table, and oh, our floating shelves over here. That's the plan. Brandon's making us some fuel though, right? What do we got here? A little peppermint mocha action. Yeah, milk. Delish. Little, oh yeah, peppermint mocha, almond milk, creamer. Yay, ready to go. Okay, so this is the decor that we still have to work with. So I'm trying to think where I should start. Well, part of this is going outside and I'm just gonna do a whole separate decorating the porch video because we, we're we just not gonna get to it today. And these two will go on the little rocking chairs and then we have our doormat, but that'll be in a whole other video, so we have that to look forward to. So I think I'm gonna just start with doing miscellaneous kitchen stuff and then we'll work on our floating shelves.
quite a bit of time on the floating shelves. They're coming together. I am still not totally in love. Something just feels off about it. I feel like I need a bit more color. So I think I'm gonna take this red ribbon and wrap it around the base of this flower pot right here to add a pop of red and that'll help kind of contrast with the gingerbread measuring cup I have right here. So we'll try that out. I think it's super cute, don't get me wrong. I think it's really cute, but I feel like it could be better. So maybe I'm just being too picky, but. It's sweet, it's sweet. Let's add a little pop of red though. Okay, this is the final product. I like the pop of red on our plant and then I also added in this woven tree. So I think that adds a good amount of color. dining table situation it kind of got the bottom of the barrel so not too much going on here but i think it is so delicate and lovely maybe we'll style this space a bit more once it comes closer to christmas and christmas eve because i think we might be hosting christmas eve so maybe we'll add some more flair but i think it is very very lovely and just a calming little dining place i absolutely love this pillow it's from a small shop called love and gray and it just goes so perfectly with this space and is such a beautiful subtle christmas touch okay now we're gonna let it snow paper snowflakes are one of my absolute favorite decoration ideas. I feel like they're so affordable. You can easily DIY it. I have DIY paper snowflakes in the past, so maybe I shouldn't say easily DIY, at least for me. Some of them came out super cute, but some of them were just so quirky looking, but that's kind of the fun of it. They're all different and you can just be creative. It's a fun activity to do with your kids, with your friends, whatever. I ended up ordering these snowflakes because I knew it would just make my life a bit easier and I'll I plan to reuse them for years to come, but I like how they kind of pop out like this. So they're almost three dimensional. So I am going to hang these from the ceiling. My plan is to hopefully just put a little tack or a push pin in the ceiling and then hang it on that, like tie it around it or loop it around it. So that's my plan, but as always, we're gonna need to play around with it and see what works best. finished decorating and I think our home has reached maximum coziness so I'm going to give you a full tour of everything we did. Okay so when you come in you have my office and this room is still a work in progress but we have our pretty flocked tree just shining brightly and then our fireplace with the candy cane banner and we also have this little flocked tree right here in this wooden pot that I think is very cute. And then our entryway, of course. I absolutely love this print. It is just so calming and beautiful. And then we have our flower picks and our candles glowing brightly and that cute little bottle brush light up tree. 
So we kept it fairly simple, but I think it's nice and inviting. And then we have our main event, the living room. I absolutely love the stair banister. I feel like it turned out really nice and the stockings are just hanging nicely. And I just added in the silk ribbon, of course, and the wood garland. I also love these wood snowflakes as well. They're a nice little hidden touch. So we have that beautiful, beautiful. And then this little table right here, we have this lamp I found at Home Goods, and then I stacked the Christmas classics underneath and we have a couple of the snowflake coasters ready to do their job if someone has a drink over here. So that's lovely. And then we have our main event. This is truly like the main focal piece of our home. So the art on the TV is just absolutely beautiful. I downloaded it from an artist on Etsy and I just absolutely love it. And then our little alpine balsam trees look so whimsical and beautiful and our little log down here with the cozy knit blanket our garland i added in this snowflake banner today and i really like it a lot or maybe this should be called a snowflake garland as well but super cute nice little touch and we have our candles i'm interested to see how all of these scents smell together because we have a lot going on they're each a different scent so it might be too much but we'll try it out never know until you try they all smell amazing so maybe they'll complement each other then we have our other little alpine balsam tree over here and then we'll add in our real tree next week once we pick that up and then over on the couch we have our christmas pillows and our cozy blankets ready for you just to snuggle up and enjoy the night and then the coffee table we have these little picks and this poem for every day winter book cute cute some more snowflake coasters and then in the kitchen we kept the island fairly simple we have our stone ceramic nativity scene i just absolutely love this how sweet is that and just a beautiful reminder every day when you walk into the kitchen in a couple bottle brush trees our floral picks with the pine and the jingle bells, and then our wreath above the stove top. The coffee bar is one of my ultimate favorite sections. It is just so sweet and whimsical, makes me smile every morning. And then we have our little spatula poking out in our utensil holder, and our hand towels on our oven, super, super cute. I hope these hold out okay, because they are a lighter color, but they are such a great texture that's actually absorbent, so I'm feeling good about it. And then we have our dining table, so lovely, and our floating shelves. They really are standing out now that it's getting dark and you can just see the little houses glowing. It looks quite precious. Okay, friends, that is it. Thank you guys so much for spending time and decorating my home with me. It is really just so special to have it all decorated and the cozy Christmas feelings, just filling the ambiance, and I'm just so thankful for you. So thank you guys so much for spending time with me. I hope you have a beautiful, peaceful, and joy-filled Christmas season, and I cannot wait to see you next. Remember, say bye. Bye, friends. <laughs>